With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that if a mass A is equal to 10 kilogram and coefficient of static friction is 0.22 and coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.2. Okay, so the minimum mass of B to start the motion is so minimum mass of B must be equal to the max value of static friction. Okay, means uh, this force on B means a B must apply a force such a way that this friction force must be overcome friction which is static friction so how we're going to do this sum basically let's suppose the mass of uh, b is m okay so there will be a force mg downwards okay mg okay so this block a will be will also have a force mg this side because of this tension in this string the tension in the string will also be uh, mg only because of this block so fs must be equal to mg so if you see fs must be equal to mg in order to this block to move okay means basically it must be greater than equal to mg so we are just taking equal to mg for our, for now okay so now what will we are going to do so basically fs will be equal to mu s which is static coefficient of friction okay into n okay so mu s will be basically 0.22 it's given in the question and n is basically 100 newton okay why 100 newton over here you can see the if we draw the fbd of this block we'll get a force mg downwards which will be equal to 100 newton okay and there will be a normal force upwards okay normal so this normal will be equal to this 100 okay so this is why we are writing over here 100 so now what we're going to get we are going to get fs value as 22 newton okay so highest value of fs means lowest value of uh, mg must be equal to 22 newton means fs is fs max is equal to 22 newton hence mg must be greater or equal to that okay so mg must be greater than or equal to that i i, I wrote maybe like this but it's not true it must be like this mg must be greater okay so at least it must overcome this so mg must be equal to 22 we are taking the ideal case over here so what we'll get we need to find m so m will be equal to 22 by g which will be equal to 22 by 10 hence 2.2 kilograms okay so the you can see over here that the minimum value that m must be so the minimum value minimum value that b must have to start the motion is basically is 2.2 kilograms okay so our answer will be option number b 2.2 kilograms got it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today